Today I'm going to be talking about the top 8 must try dishes in South Africa. Good tea gang, it is your girl T. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new to this channel, then smash the subscribe button down below. Turn on your post notifications to get notified every time I post a video, baby. Today, I'm going to be talking about the top 8 food you should try in South Africa. These are the popular dishes in South Africa that you should try. And if you haven't tried them, then what are you doing? What are you doing? Go ahead and try those dishes because they're the most popular dishes in South Africa. It is biltong biltong it's not i cannot say it's a dish it is a snack so what is biltong to those who don't know it uh biltong is dried meat it is air dried so it is actually usually beef so what they do to this uh beef is they dip it in salt vinegar spices spices like pepper or chilies and then they hang it up to air dry and then they sell it to us we enjoy our biltong it is a nice snack very popular in south africa if you haven't tried biltong go ahead and try it what are you doing if you haven't tried biltong then number two burfors so what is burfors Burfors is a sausage that is made from beef. So it can either be beef or it can be beef mixed with pork or beef mixed with lamb with some spices as well, mixed with also some spices. So Burfors usually it is served with pap, usually we eat it at rice, it's served with pap and some salads. It is very, very nice. Then number three, chakalaka. So what, ch yo, get, I love chakalaka. What is a braai without chakalaka? What is burfors without chakalaka, guys? So what is chakalaka? Chakalaka, it is a vegetable dish that is made from beans, carrots, paper, tomatoes, onion, and some spices. Chakalaka, what is a braai without chakalaka? What is burfors without chakalaka? I love chakalaka, guys. If you haven't tried it, Go ahead and try it because what are you waiting for? Dish number four, it is pap. I think I've mentioned it in a lot of my videos that I love pap. Pap means porridge, it's soft porridge. Uh, to people who don't know who aren't in Africa and are watching this video, so we make it from maize meal. Maize meal, right? That is pap. Pap, we usually serve it with, it is a starchy dish, it is starch. So pap, we usually serve it with meat, like I mentioned, borvos, borvos and pap plus chakalaka. Yo, oh, I just got hungry right now. Then number five, shisa nyama. Shisa nyama is to burn the meat. Burn the meat, it is a Zulu. So shisa nyama is a braai and this braai is originated in the townships of uh, Johannesburg where our butchers just put up our barbecues out and then they braai their meat and sell it to the people in the streets. So that's how it originated. And with time, it has become actually a tradition in South Africa, braai, I'm, I'm sure you know. People living in South Africa, South Africans, uh, that um, braai has become a tradition. You go to braai with a different kinds of meat. You go with burfors, you go with uh, beef, you go with pork, you go with chicken. You go there, you have a braai with a, it's a get together, family and friends. And you have your chakalaka that I mentioned above. You have your different salads with you, and it's a good time. Shisanyama braai. If you haven't been to a braai in South Africa, go to a braai because what are you waiting for? It is one of of the most popular things that is done here in South Africa. Dish number six is a bunny chow. Koda, ikoda, bunny chow. So bunny chow originated in Durban, where they actually take bread and then they make a, they cut the bread in half. So they make a hollow in the bread, like a hole in the bread. They take out the, the, the stuff. They fill it up with some spicy curry. So it is very, very, very nice. I love bunny chow. But then now I've realized the time, not only do they put curry, some people, they actually substitute it. People not put whatever they want. Sometimes you find it's chips. So you have an option of what you want in your bunny chow. Usually in the townships. So you either choose you want chips only or you want chips and a russian or you want chips and a vienna or do you want chips egg and russian chips egg and vienna so on and so forth some even go to an extent of putting bride meat shisanyama that i mentioned so it just depends with what you want and the money that you got in your pocket and then you can get whatever you want so that is bunny chow 
Number seven is malva pudding. I'm not really a fan of sweet stuff. I love salty dishes, but then malva pudding is really, really, really nice. It is a sweet and sticky baked spongy uh, pudding, and it is made with apricot jam and served with a hot cream sauce. So I have my days of liking sweet things, but then this, um, I'm not really into sweet things, but marble pudding, you should try it. If you haven't tried it, try marble pudding. And then the last dish that I have is the Cape Malay curry. I love curry, guys. I love curry, especially if you do it right. So it's chicken curry. So what do they put in this curry, Cape Malay curry? They put in spices like cinnamon, saffron, and then they also can put chilies so i love curry guys usually i know it's chicken curry i don't know is it also beef curry but then it is very 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 nice so guys if you haven't tried any of the above foods that i've mentioned above or the above dishes go and try them out because these are the popular dishes in south africa and they're very very nice you should definitely try them out tell me what is your favorite in the comment section if you have a favorite if i left some out that are really really popular and i left them out leave them in the comment section if you have a video suggestions for my next video leave it in the comment section give this video a thumbs up and give me subscribe if you love this video we are reaching 2k subscribers please subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video i love you guys bye